This is Abia COVID-19 update. Abia COVID-19 update. Now, let me quickly go straight to the conversation today. Let's uh, uh, we will return to the update later on. We have uh, Barrister Chris Azim joining us this morning. Barrister, good morning to you. Good morning, Maxon. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you very much for joining us. Let's look at uh, the response uh, of Abia State Government to the current wave and the spike in COVID-19 and the effort of the government to curtail the spread of the virus. Over the weekend, uh, there was this uh, announcement uh, that you signed that came from your office. Can you run us through and uh, the latest concerning some of the protocols or the renewed uh, 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 protocols put in place by the government? Yeah, you want me to run through them? Y- y- yes, I would like us to just give us a summary. Uh, yeah, but um, they are very straightforward. You will recall that um, over the over the weekend, there was uh, a, an enlarged meeting of stakeholders, which included uh, religious leaders, uh, religious leaders from various um, churches, they included the Muslim community, they included um, selected stakeholders, and then traditional institutions all together. We needed to rub minds together. We needed to look at the second wave we needed to respond to our environment consequently we brainstormed on various issues and after that long deliberations we arrived at the following amongst the decisions we took included that the night clubs should cease to operate because they are veritable ground for the spread of covid 19. okay and we only advised audience who patronize them for now to desist a night because clubs. You see, if, yes yeah. for now to desist because you cannot stop somebody dancing in the club from wearing his face mask nobody will dance in the club with face mask and then we drink also so if you and i who go there stay in our houses we don't go then it will not operate it takes two to commit a crime you will agree with me mm-hmm. so this effort we are making now needs discipline self-discipline among Abians and residents of Abians to make it work. So we're advising people to, for now, to, to stay away from such places. Okay, the eateries and we, also, uh, eateries and eateries, the we have said that um, the eateries, our position on eateries is that they should operate on takeaway basis from now. Mm. Take away basis to avoid the, the sitting down, the crowdedness and whatever. So it and means then we can we, no longer go and sit down in eateries and no, say no, we're no, eating. No, 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 okay. no. It becomes unlawful. It becomes unlawful. Oh, if, we, right. if, if we find that out, we'll seal up the place. And all when right. we seal up the place, we will not open it for. Whenever we open it, you'll pay a fine of 100,000. And not just that, all eateries and hospitality places, as, as in hotels and what have you, must paste at their entrances. No face marks, no entry. Okay. No face marks, no entry. And that applies to all government offices too. Agencies, parasatals, MBAs, everywhere. They must paste that. So it's the no entry, no face marks, no entry sign. So both the entries, those are the receptionists of the hotels, you must put on your face marks and provide within the environment the minimum protocol of warring, running water and hand sanitizers and digital thermometers to check temperatures of those coming in and going out. So that's what we say. And then we came to the churches and we said, for now, no night vigil, no crusade. No night vigil, no crusade. No night vigil, then, no crusade. No crusade. Mm. Yeah, so those um, late night programs should stop and limit your activities to twice a week going forward and operate on a minimum, maximum basis of 50 per stream. And then the church you only have at its entrance, no face mask, no entry. Mm. Uh, I, I, I would like to say yesterday I worshipped in a church, I think, around uh, Asomta, around uh, Omobara. I was happy the Bishop of the Catholic Diocese was there for my Virtually everybody was wearing his face mask, including the Bishop and all the clergy. Mm. So we are begging because, you know, the minimum, this, this virus is on the air. The minimum protection you need is your face mask and then to wash your hands as frequent as you can and to use your hand sanitizers. So every public place must have no face masks, no entry. And we're going to launch the Abia COVID-19 day. 
and uh, very soon we will announce the dates where we will be all out on the streets. Everybody, every government official, political appointees, we all out on the street to enforce the, 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 the minimum protocol of face mask. And, Interesting. Um, we're, saying, okay. we're saying clearly that um, that will come up any moment from now and it will be first of its kind in the whole of the South now, States. Now, Barrister, I, I ran through those uh, protocols released uh, mm -hmm. from your office. Um, a particular mm -hmm. one is generating a lot of reactions from members Which of the one? public. Wearing a face mask is compulsory and any contravention will attract a fine of 5,000 naira. Exactly, exactly. What we are saying so is any day you will find out that too. As we launch that on the day we will be on the road. If we get you, you yourself, going to work without a face mask, we'll contravene you there. BOR will issue, the Board of Final Revenue will issue a receipt. You have to pay. You go to the mobile court, you pay before you go back. Yeah, the mobile courts are in place. They will all, yeah, and um, and the day we will have COVID 19, like, uh, I just say COVID 19 day, the mobile courts, the 17 local governments operating, they will be the ones to, to, to enforce the fine. I would like you to bring us up to speed concerning cultural festivals. We've talked about the churches. No more. They are on ban. Complete ban. Cultural festivals, complete ban. Interesting. Complete ban. We will, help, we will hold the end the community leader. On traditional law of that community responsible. And uh, the direct... No masquerade. No masquerade. Nothing. No. Okay. Uh, when some persons with my can masquerade also contract COVID-19? <laughs> uh, yeah, but, um, but people will gather. People mm. will gather there. Yeah. And you have all the dance without restriction hmm. and the body contacts. So now, we will not allow that. Uh, ba Barista, I want you to also run us through the protocols put in place in our markets and also for burials and weddings. What we've said now is uh, 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 burials and weddings will operate on 50 minimum basis. Hmm. And then remember that we've launched now the various committees at the local governments. And we've directed the um, um, traditional rulers of various communities to liaise with the local government chairman of the relevant local governments and put the synchronize the enforcement teams which will supervise burial activities and weddings within their various local localities and um, communities. But the major thing is that we are going to empower we are empowering those committees to stop and disrupt any burial not complying with the data and protocol. Now, a very important aspect uh, we've not talked about this morning is the transportation sector. It's unfortunate oh. that uh, the operators, they go against the protocols uh, put in place. Those protocols, uh, they've never stopped existing, but uh, they, they, they have just been uh, reiterated. You, uh, you, you will see the new, the new wave of en enforcement from now on those um, transporters. You will see what we are going to do. And it's unfortunate that uh, we pack ourselves in the tricycle. But you see, but you, and, see and but you see, let me let me tell you this. Yeah, yes. The society, the, 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 our residents have to help us. If you and I stand on the road to enter a keke operator, and I see that there are two people already in the keke, if I don't enter, the man will not force me. I mm -hmm. hope you get me. I'm getting you. So the, the, so the enforcement begins from you and I, with you and I. It begins mm -hmm. with you and I. All right. Interesting. I, I want to really appreciate you. And uh, we will be part of the COVID-19 awareness day so as to... Of course, know, of course, of course. We'll put on the media. Media will join us. Yeah. We want to really appreciate Thank you, you Barrister Chris Eze, Secretary to the Abia Thank State you. Government and also the Chairman Thank of the Interministerial you. Committee on COVID-19. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. All right. Let's uh, get back to the discussion. I think I will take calls and uh, gather your questions. You have different, several questions. And of course, uh, return back to him. I know you have so much questions concerning these new protocols put in place by the government in Abia State. And uh, very soon... Uh, uh, you will be seeing uh, enforcement on the street of Abia, uh, all the 17 local government areas of the state. Uh, so don't say you are ignorant of what is happening. Please do not. It is very important. You've heard him. Uh, some of the uh, uh, some, some, uh, contravention will attract uh, as high as uh, 100,000 naira down to 50, uh, 5,000 naira. It's very important. Uh, and uh, the government is talking tough right now anyways the lines are open 0808 182 6949 or 
0811-605-2949. You can also drop messages on 906 510 Hello, good morning to you. Hello, good morning, Mr. Michael. You're welcome. Uh, I'm Max Smith. I'm calling from Moayu Campus. All right, welcome. Yeah. To some certain extent, I think the government is biased with their policies. You asked him a question about the marketplaces, and he was able to give details on how can those protocols be adhered in the marketplaces. But it was really said about it in churches and um, other institutions. Marketplaces is one of the most vital places they would have looked into. And all these uh, face masks wearing, I, I know the care drivers are going to be victimized on it because the face mask wearing is is an illegal if somebody does not wear face mask so you will not contravene a ticket driver because his passenger is not wearing a face mask it's absolutely injustice so they should look into that because the previous lockdown if passenger does not wear face mask they will allow him go at the point of drag you see people gathering outsiders that are not even wearing the face mask gathering to watch what is happening whereas the KK driver is putting on his own face mask. All right. So this law should be episodes. individual take out something, those. not trying to victimize other people because of an person crime. All right. Thank you Th- very much. Th- thank you for your contribution. Just to, uh, I'm not uh, answering uh, for barrister anyways, but uh, there was a press release from his office uh, that was over the weekend. And in that release, I have it here. It reads, uh, no, uh, paragraph 5, markets, all COVID-19 market committees are to be revived and must ensure total compliance with all COVID-19 protocols at all markets, uh, failing, at, uh, failing which government will not hesitate to shut down such market and proscribe its union. That's according uh, to the statement from the office of the uh, secretary to the government uh, the state government and also uh, concerning the issue of uh, tricycles and uh, people uh, not uh, putting on their face mask in tricycle now the new rules the new set of protocols put in place by the government uh, is binding on everyone including the passengers because wearing a face mask is compulsory and contravening uh, any contravention rather will attract a fine of 5000 naira that's i'm um, also reading uh, from the press release also uh, hello good morning to you hello good morning you're, you're welcome is it 99.1 yes this is abia state covid 19 update okay good morning good morning what's your name yeah what are um, my contribution for this issue this morning mm. is this for the transportation you people should uh, impose law to the drivers not the passengers because in, in, in the drivers anyone that is not near any any face mark is the driver they supposed to be responsible because if you don't wear face mark the driver will tell you don't enter mm. my PK or my car so when it's like that, the thing can be able to control. All right. Uh, you didn't tell me your so, name, please. My name is uh, J.P. Samuel. All right. You're welcome, uh, Mr. Samuel. Thank you very much for your so, contribution. It is also important to note that we're talking about markets here. Uh, markets are open spaces. Yes. It's only logical to understand that... Uh, uh, markets are open spaces and uh, they are less prone to the spread of this disease than an enclosed place like uh, 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 the clubs, like a religious uh, center. So it's one of those reasons uh, we have uh, limited persons uh, per stream uh, according to the protocols put in place. And it was just a bit of uh, uh, my basic uh, science here. Uh, yeah. Hello, good morning to you. Which open uh, space is market. I don't get it. Good, the, good morning the to you, friends. Like, are, are they open space? Good morning. Can you answer? Can you good just morning. answer? Well, oh, thank you. Comrade. Okay. So you can't say the market is an open. Is, a, is a, an open place. It is not true. Okay. The so are, is is, is, a mark, the is is a market if, an enclosed space? If, 
if at all this mm. disease is uh, 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 being transmitted, the markets are the greatest. Go to the market and see what are we talking about. Go to the market and see the number of persons clustering. Yes, the government will base this on individual. Now, they are asking a uh, 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 price circles and uh, operators of uh, buses to carry two. How will, uh, they, this, the burden of this will now be meant to impoverish the citizens more. How would they be able to pay for two persons instead of uh, the normal they used to carry? They will not transfer the load to, 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 to the citizens who are already suffering the uh, impact of economic crash. The market is the place where this is. All right. Hello. All right, thank you very much for your contribution. Well noted. I, I'm going to bring an expert. We've talked about this particular issue on this program. If you've been following the editions of this program, I'm going to bring an expert again to analyze the dangers of uh, the spread of COVID-19, the risk uh, the risk of contracting COVID-19 in an enclosed and, of course, an open space also, uh, just to give the similarities and the differences. And... Uh, 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 I'm sure you will understand uh, what I mean by uh, an enclosed and, of course, an uh, open space. Hello, good morning to you. Good morning. You're welcome. Uh, my name is uh, Mr. Wangfo. You're welcome, Mr. You're Hold welcome. on, please. Let me turn down my radio. Oh, thank you. I can hear you clearly anyways. Yeah, please, uh, on the issue of uh, what should be done in the marketplace, I think the crowding in our markets is too much mm. that if... Any single person contacts it and walks into that place, it catches up, whether it's open or enclosed uh, space. So I want the government to please work with the market unions. First of all, give them, go create proper awareness because they still come for people who are pismatched right now in our markets. So they have to go work with the market unions so that they will help to enforce these things. They don't swoop on them so suddenly because they are going to take up all the crowd right, suddenly. And probably, if they really have to enforce 5,000, they, they probably will make a million in one day with their work in there and people will not be happy with them. Mm-hmm. Let them go through the market unions, have a little meeting, uh, awareness creation mm-hmm. with them, and then ask them to enforce these things in the market. I think it could be useful for us. All right. Uh, for all the other units, I don't think anybody needs to be arguing over these issues. These things are killing people everywhere, including in our nation. So I, I want to urge the, pop- the population, both in the state, of course, elsewhere, everywhere around the nation, people should please comply with the authorities. They are trying their best to ensure that everybody is safe. And we have to commend all those behind all the efforts and then co- cooperate effectively with them. I haven't said that, actually. I want us to be putting our minds towards what is released. This thing they right. say Israel is uh, coming up with now. The right. Ella, Th- I think we need that stuff to help uh, the curative aspect, in addition to the pursuit for the vaccination. Th- thank you I- very I pray much. that we will be able to overcome the little hitch we are having with the World Health Organization. Very important. I, pr- I pray so too. Yes. Th- thank you very much. Uh, I do appreciate. But we will continue our sensitization and, of course, follow up on the uh, implementation of some of these protocols, the enforcement. I need to state here again that these enforcement are not to punish us. Uh, but you know, Africans, if we don't put a bit of uh, uh, checks, we don't follow some of these protocols, they are not to punish us. And it is also important that those that are going to market, they should wear their face mask and also shops should keep hand washing materials and sanitizers in place uh, so that uh, uh, your customers can uh, abide by those rules and will limit the spread of COVID 19 in Abia State. The program returns tomorrow. Many thanks to the partner radio stations BCA FM, Flow FM, Vision Africa Radio, Family Love FM, uh, uh, Real FM, and uh, Buzz FM. And many thanks to the producer also, Samson Eze. My name is Michael Oni. Please do stay safe. It is very, very important. People are contracting COVID 19 and they are also dying. Do enjoy the rest of the day. This is Abia COVID 19 update. Abia COVID 19 update.